All of the cows and calves stayed captured last night. Uh, cowboys should be here any minute. Looks like they're all still here. Just fell down a flight of stairs. It's knocked you down the well, stairs. That's what we're going to tell people. Yeah. That's well, what we're I know that's people. what happened. You smart mouse. There, there, she knocked you down. Yeah, we know. Ain't that right, Dan? Yeah, I'd say that's what happened. And the gathering begins at the creek place. This is the place we always start at, whether we're gathering them in the spring to work them or in the fall to sell them. Uh, the fences are set a little bit different this year, but the routine is pretty much the same. rocks out of the way. That's not good on somebody with a new hip. <laughs> we have a few extra calves here uh, because the fence is down in one spot between my place and the neighbors. So we'll sort the neighbor's calves off into a trailer, give the cowboys more room to work back cows and calves, and then we'll reload them in the corral before they leave. We're neutering the bull calves, vaccinating, branding, and deworming every calf, and applying ear tags to those that I missed when they were born. Not very many, but a few. That bull calf was named Jim, courtesy of Garrett, an upcoming young cattleman from Republic, Missouri. Yeah. Justin, I, yeah. I believe that was it. Yeah. You're talking about that place where my in-laws were. Yeah. I think when we, we quit using them was when I got kicked in the face, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. The cowboys are reminding me why I quit using the emasculator clamps to neuter the bulls after I got kicked in the face a few years ago. I believe I'd make that mistake. You know why she's so fat? She's always sucked other cows. Oh. And it's way, way across the other side of the parking lot. They don't even use old arena. Jared had twins, purebred beef masters. We're going to keep it a bull. She wants to make a herd bull out of it. We're vaccinating every cow against leptospirosis and pouring their backs with a liquid dewormer. Mm. 
all finished here, we're letting the neighbor's calves back into the corral from the trailer, and then he'll come over and load them up and take them home later today. We'll turn all the cows and calves back onto the pasture now. Everything went pretty smoothly here, and everyone deserves a little break before moving on to the next place. So we'll let the cowboys rest a spell. second place here they'll be gathering cows and calves from an 80 acre field uh, so it's a little bit more challenging than it was at the first place where we had them all in just three or four acres. cows were being a bit cantankerous here in this field, but they weren't a match for good cowboys and good horses. We reset a couple of panels and then the cowboys used their trucks and trailers to form a pen that'll force the cattle back to their original field once they go through the chute.
cowboys will realign their trucks and trailers to form a trap to help them capture the last group. Now the cowboys begin gathering the cattle at the very last pasture, almost finished. Roger, a little twin that we successfully grafted onto one of my cows, and we're going to keep him as a bull. Another spring roundup in the books, and the cowboys are off to their next job. <laughs> 